Well, can Fiji continue on their unbeaten run or USA cause another boil over late in the day, just like they did last week? It's Ben's Pool A action coming up with Dallin and Madison. Thanks very much, Ricky. Well, this is the form guide of the last five meetings. Fiji lead three to two. Madison Hughes, a record all-time point scorer for the USA with 1,510 points. Your take on this one? I mean, this is a big one, especially for the Americans. They, they, they know they need to show up and put in a good performance in order to make that all-important quarterfinal. Fiji, they had such a good weekend last weekend in Singapore. They're looking to build on that two good performances so far. They want to make it three from three. A couple of players to look out for on each side. I think Nathungu from Fiji, he's just absolutely deadly with ball in hand. On the US side, Kevin Williams captaining. He's their go-to man when they need someone to make something happen. A brilliant clash coming to you here at BC Place. It's a closed dome stadium. Tabita, Dangunu, and Kevon Williams lead out their two countries. And full of an to our Fijian viewers. Hello to our North American fans tuning in on Peacock TV. These are the results of the USA. Went down to Kenya 1917, but took England to the task. 20 points to 19 there. A very close one. And they, if they lose by eight or less points, will go through to the Cup quarterfinals. Of course, they're looking for a victory here. And Fiji, meanwhile, the Flying Fijians, 27 points to 12 and 38 points to 7. They won their first two pool matches. And Jerry Tuwai, of course, always the great man leading the charge for his side. We've missed that sight involving held by some large Fijian hands. Referee Jordan Way, 119 matches on the series. The man from Australia will take charge of this vital clash. Jerry Tuai back in the starting lineup for Fiji for the first time today. So their talisman back in the middle of everything. He's had some, some lighter matches so far today, so should be raring to go and put ready to put in a good performance. America on the left in the red, white, and blue. Jerry Tuai in white and Fiji to receive on the right of your screen. Come on. Palau Nua. USA's most kept player of all time. Can he pull the strings here against Vakura Nabili and Tuwa? Good take here from Tasua Vakura Nabili to get things going for Fiji. Busy. Tap and go from Waisia Nathungu. Scored his 100th try earlier today for his country. Big jump there from Dongunu goes to Tuwai, who slides down and immediately almost into a half break. Maceo Brown does well to contain him. Back to the short side, they go with a couple of big steps. Elia Tanakaifata fighting his way as he goes all the way along. Brown drags him towards the touchline. Tuwai pulls it away for the flying Fijians. Look to get some steps at midfield. Nice little switches here by Kurnabili yet again. 29th tournament for him. Finds on the right hand side. The stepping captain, Tevita Dangunu. Two wide. Sticking with their pattern. Trying to create a bit of mismatch in midfield. And there it is. It eventually opens up. And it's Fiji that go in for an early try. Kaminelli Rasuku gets them going here at BC Place. Fiji very patient in attack. I'm not sure we actually saw an offload there, which is unusual, but going through phases and then waiting for the missed tackle. And two missed tackles from the US, try for Fiji, simple as that. Uh, Rasaku scored against England, Kenya, and now in the third pool match as well. He has Fiji on the scoreboard. It's a brilliant breakout. Oh, conversion's been missed. This conversion from a simple spot could could come back to cost. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but a good start from Fiji. Not how the US will have wanted to start off this game, but still lots of time to go. So now it's on this kickoff. Who can recover it and who can start going from there? As it stands now, that's the pool. Fiji first, USA two. So both should go through to the quarterfinals. And they face Argentina and France. Argentina topping the pool D. Okay. France second place. Kayvon Williams for the US. Lucas Lecamp gets a switch to Ben Russell, both UCLA players, behind the back, Schrader looking for Brown on the outside, Maceo Brown, taps back against one Grand Canyon University product, Newark to Kayvon Williams, looking 
for some space on this short side. Brassell, Chuckanaut Orif, key player, an hour down here from Vancouver. Flies down the touchline. It's Fiji to come over this one. Hey, Doing a really good job there, Vakri Nambili, of just getting in on the ball, and now off go Fiji. Oh, they turn it back in field. Oh, their space opens up yet again. Blink and you'll miss them. And this player, Uiwa Nanduvalo, gets yet another score. Ten last week. He is a roller coaster ride. Nanduvalo, an absolute try scoring machine. It comes from the turnover and the breakdown penalty. U.S. might be slightly aggrieved at the tackler rolling out the side, impeding the entry, but Fiji do not need a second chance. Get the penalty, immediately go. Nanduvalo in space, one-on-one -on -one with Palau Nua, and there's only one winner there. 25-year-old, lighting it up on the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. Nanduvalo has him up 10-0, kick over 12-0. Fiji so far, such a powerful player. Scored it in every single game since his debut. That is a stat and a half. 15 tries in nine games. What a weapon to have if you're the coach Ben Gollings. His first tournament last week in Singapore. Heavy collision there on Lucas Lacamp. Not realistic. His hand on his foot, then gone down to his side. Well, it's competing with the pod. There aren't that many players who can get up that high, but undercut him on from underneath. The U.S. Captain Kevin Williams said is asking the referee, is that a card? Um, Jordan Way deciding it's not in this occasion, but it gives the U.S. an opportunity now. Two tries early in this game. We've got two and a half minutes left in this first half. The U.S. have to settle down. They have to maintain possession and go through some phases. There's your old coach, Mike Friday, on the left. Absolutely, and Mike Friday, who coached Ben Golling. So two coaches who know each other quite well, uh, and now head-to-head -head battle. Intriguing indeed. You are. Look out. Goes up and leaves it behind Fiji. Look at the capitalize as they do. Nathungu up the middle. Oh, this is Fijian rugby at its best. And they go in yet again. Waisia Nathungu adding more to his tally. It's the simple mistakes you cannot afford to make against Fiji if you want to win. Simple miscue off the line out. They executed in the forwards. It's a pass from 9 to 10, and that shouldn't be messed up. It's in behind Le Camp. He tries to regather, uh, and Nathungu in for the try. And it's a big, big ask for the U.S. now to come back from this. And Fiji really going through the motions and, and doing very well. One mistake, and he's behind you upright. Well, kick over 19-0. Waisia Nathungu from Votua Village in Park which has produced Fijian legends such as Pio Tuwai, Filippo Narcosi, and Joshua Tuisova. Uh, what a village that is indeed. Amazing. A village team who could probably compete on the World Series, which is pretty uh, incredible. USA looking for a response here. Down 19 nothing. A minute to play in the first half of this pool clash down the short side. Brown cuts in really well, does Messi or Brown. Yeah. Looking to pick up go is Ben Brassell. Oh, the intercept pass, when it's not working for you, it, it's not working for you. Tavita Dangunu slides in for the fourth try. No, he throws it over the top. Uh, they're having fun here in Canada. And Elia Thanakai Bata touches it down. When it rains, it pours. Not going, nothing is going right for the U.S. right now. Really unfortunate. Macy O'Brien had a big, strong carry. Ben Brazil trying to clean it up. And then, yeah, Thanai Kavata just saw it from so far away coming in, picking it off, and the try line beckoning. Well, this player nearly stopped playing rugby after suffering tremendous loss in his family, brother and his father. But he said he dedicated his Olympic medal to his dad. He carries on his dream as well. His mom encouraged him to play. And here he is. So a restart here. 26 points to nothing. Lucas LeCamp for the United States. Kayvon Williams. Can they get one score here before the break? Macy O'Brien goes into the big frame of Joshua Bakurna Billy. LeCamp. You are close to the classic pass over the top to Schrader on that far side. Schrader stretching the legs. The jukebox. Cuts back in really well. The hits keep coming. Fiji stopped that attack, but Lucas LeCamp is waiting here with the wheels in Kayvon Williams. Goes across field, gets a nice little switch. 
to Brown. Still space on the left. Palaunua, yet again, here they come. Esdale, putting speed onto that. Schrader on that far side. Backwards. Heavily involved in this movement. Palaunua, still Lions. going strong there in support. Lions. Debut to the Gold Coast in 2011. Still here on the series. Maceo Brown, Brussel on the outside. He's a try scoring machine and he gets the angle and wins the race. Ben Brussel strikes back for the US Eagles. Ben Brussel giving the US the hint of a hope at the end of this first half. That's what they need to do. They, that's the first passage of play. They've really maintained any sort of possession. They went through phases, they avoided those errors that crept in earlier. Uh, and now it's a big conversion. Every point matters for the U.S. They have to, they have to get this conversion so they can start in the second half, getting a bit, of, getting it a bit closer. Kicking duties for Lucas LeCamp will stay to the side. So that's the halftime whistle here. It's Fiji with a powerful lead against the USA, 26 points to five. They lead the USA. Matches coming up in our super session. The home side, Canada, get the biggest roar of the weekend. They'll take Spain in 20 minutes. Super coach is certainly one to watch for the Canadian side. The Spanish side warming up here, looking to cause more upsets here at BC Place, one of their favorite events on the calendar. Close to the huddle here with Ben Gollings and Jerry Tuai with the messages here. Welcome back to beautiful BC Place here for the HSBC Canada Sevens in Vancouver. It is celebration time this weekend over the Easter time period. And it's Fiji with Jerry Tuwai. They lead 26 points to five against the US. Maceo Brown has a big second half to come. Fiji kick off from left to right. They're going to go 3 0 in their form and top the charts and look to play France in the quarterfinals tomorrow. Here at stop five in the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series in North America. Kick comes down to Brown, but it's been taken by Schrader. Big Joe Schrader. Give away a penalty, though, so it goes straight back to Fiji. Off boots. Careless from the US. I think expect, you expect contact when no one comes. You've, you've got to be able to arrest your momentum. See Maceo Brown, he just goes straight to his hands there. You've got to hit through onto the Fijian player, onto the opposition player, and the, that's going to give the referee the visual that you're hitting horizontally rather than straight into the ground and preventing that competition. Take, and Manny, just quickly, what do you that think Mark Friday would have, have, would have shot a few okay. charges at the half? On, I think on it's, the you can't worry about trying to score 21 points all of a sudden. You've got to go one play at a time, concentrate on each passage of play as an individual moment and win those moments. Jerry Tuwai. Beautiful to see him back oh. here with Fiji. The and the well ball. held there in the end. The good he does, they come on a lovely short line. Rasaku scored one earlier already. Gets a couple of fins here, says the captain Tavita Dongunu. Off the deck to Bakurnabili. Whoops it over the top. Lovely skills here from the flying Fijians. Stepping yet again, Nandovalu. Still flicking alive. Comes across, Tanakai Bata. Again the big jump. Dangunu. Stay on the seven. It's the Thank Fijian you, player that we love so much. Anything can happen when any player touches the ball. Bakurnabili. Ready? Oh, it's a big Locked tackle on. from the US. This Ready is advantage driver. for them. Can they get Kayvon Williams at the end of this? He's 
knocked it on. It was great play by Maceo Brown, just getting his hand down on the Fijian player's arm. This was the one earlier, stepping across the field. But the U.S., when you get chances, you have to take them. And the offload to Kayvon Williams just slightly behind him. He's not able to gather it, and if he gets that, goes the length maybe, then this is a different game. But once again, Fiji able to take some time off the clock, control the game, control possession, and the U.S. having to defend for long periods, for short periods of attack. And they're not taking advantage of right now. Good. Remember the hook. Five to play. Up 26 points to five. Fiji. Kevin Williams. Come on. So far in this game. Fine. Jerry Tuwa. Debut Gold Coast 2014 World. Seventh player of the year 2019. Nominated three times. One. Little penalty. Sorry. He'll come back. Tuwa taps and goes himself. Short ball, a massive frame coming in. Jeremiah Matana for Fiji. Across, Dungunu gets it away. Support is there. Flipped out the back door. Fancy footwork yet again. Ratura Thiri for Fiji into the 22. Whipping it wide. Hard to stop. Running at full speed here. Through the legs, Jerry Tuai pulling Wasari Serevi, and they go to that far side. Matana busting through, bruising their way for another score. Jeremiah Matana for Fiji. Players on his back. Matana finishing it off. Jerry Tuai with the nice little flick between the legs. Actually, a good passage of defense from the US. They made Fiji work for that, but Fiji showing they're very capable of going through passages of play. It's not all about the fancy offloads. Sometimes you just need to keep it simple. The, there was a nice fancy offload to finish it off, but Matangi finished completing the move. That's putting this quite a score line, and I wonder if that's going to be the one that causes those U.S. heads to drop. Well, flags keep going up. 33 points to five. Well, you can't not mention Fiji when you talk about fancy passes. A thrill to watch, and that's as it stands right now. So with that, the USA will drop out, and England will come through. That's how crazy this pool is. The US, if they were to lose, it was going to be about eight points or less. Three minutes to play. Can they get a couple of scores on the board here? Marcus Tuporola, he's come off the bench. Ben Bristol. Played for the US Falcons, developed inside a few years back. And DeMonte Noble, he's got electric feet, has DeMonte Noble. Played for the LA Guiltinis of Major League Rugby, the champions for the last season. Clear release, and then you'll write scoring of the ball. Hey! Newer taps for the Americans. Schrader cuts back in. Fresh legs needed from the US side. Lucas Lacamp goes to those fresh legs and to Bola to DeMonte Noble. Can he finish here? Not a lot of room to operate. He ducks down and gets a big bump. Goes Noble. Launua, lovely dummy. Creates a little half gap. Hey, step, hey, step, hey, step. That first receiver. Bristol. Almost through the legs. Oh, and dropped it. Adam Channel. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to replicate Jerry Two Eyes, but through the legs earlier. It's the through the legs dummy, and sometimes, yeah, and strong defense from, from Fiji yep, there. Trouble. Didn't really look like the U.S. were going anywhere or testing them particularly hard. Fijians making their tackle, keeping their width, know, making sure there weren't really any any gap. The channel the catches one. the ball, so the going through yeah, the, yeah, through yeah, the legs, but then decides yeah. against it, and then loses the possession. And been the story of the game for the Americans, really. At any time they've Come had on. any sort of passage Crouch. to play, they've just made mistakes, turned the ball Fine. over, and Fiji have made them pay. Set. The error count there really creeping in. Fiji played in the opening rounds in Dubai. They were fourth and then ninth gold medalist last week under their new coach, Ben Dollings, the English legend, most points scorer in history in the seventh World Series. Jerry Tuwai. Player coach to why goes over the top to that far side. Oh, good, strong carry there from Kira Walangi hey. Patterson on debut for Fiji. Lucas Lacamp has it though for the US side. Channel played last week with the LA Giltinis in Major League Rugby. Throws it to Paola. 
has to go high to Gleck. Channel now. The winger finds Demonte Noble. Electric feet needed here from Noble. Can't get away. Le Camp. America Camp inside their 22. Brassell on the outside. Brassell goes away. He's a good player. It's Benny Brassell cutting back in. Just three white jerseys around him. Nobody else there to help out. Two white comes in, of course. Oh, man over the ball. You can't Captain set up. goes quickly. Jerry, two white. You can't run past me. You've got to go on the mark. The referees are so strict on that mark, and, and I get it when I'm you're miles mark, away. But if you're okay. close enough, I sometimes think, hey, let's just let, let's let people play. Ben Brazel doing so well. Try, and he, he made two attempts here. He got to his feet, got tackled again. Tries to get back let's to go. his feet again. The referee deciding that the Fijian player was in a position to play the ball. Well, Jerry Tuai, a couple of days ago, went to find his long-lost uncle who lives about two and a half hours outside of Vancouver. He wasn't able to find him on that occasion. So if you're Jerry Tuai's uncle, make sure you reach out. Jerry's looking for you. He's got tickets for tomorrow. Demonte Noble picks up and gets a lovely little offload away. Here comes the U.S. now to close things out. Adam Channel, Belmont Shaw, player out of Long Beach, California. Lucas Flacap turns on the Jets. Lucas Flacap will go through and get the last say in this game. It won't be enough. But at least the U.S. finished with another score. Yeah, nice finish to the match for Le Camp in the U.S., but the match really hasn't gone how they wanted. And that's testament to the quality of Fiji, but also the U.S., an inexperienced team just making way too many mistakes. And that's something they'll have to improve upon tomorrow as they go into the